Those are my Sailor Moon poses for you guys. <laughs> Hello beautiful people of the world! So, today I'm really excited and I'm really emotional because I just got something in the mail that I'm so excited about. Like, you guys don't even understand. <laughs> Let me sit down and talk to you guys for a second. So, um, I have been a Sailor Moon fan since I was old enough to probably speak. And I know there are a lot of people out there that are like, I'm the number one fan. I have every single doll that I was ever made. I have every poster. I have all the movies. I have every episode on VHS and DVD. And I understand, but every time I hear that someone says that they're a bigger fan than I am, I beg to differ. So, my love for Sailor Moon goes very, very deep. <laughs> I was so obsessed with Sailor Moon when I was younger to the point that I used to beg God that if I died, I wanted to be reincarnated as the princess of the moon. I'm just as shocked as you guys. I felt such a strong connection with Sailor Moon, with Usagi, that I kind of thought I was her <gasps> to a certain extent. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but when you're a child, you think crazy things, so don't judge me. I saw a lot of traits in Yusagi's personality that really connected to me. I always strive to be the friend to all. I always put other people first. I really just care about those that are really, really close to me, which I know everybody does, but like, it just it's just different, okay? It's different. different. Um, Anyway, because I'm broke, I guess it seems like I'm not a huge Sailor Moon fan because I can't buy all her hey! merch. I can't fill my room up with posters of her. Not yet, but once the time comes, it will be a Sailor Moon haven. I loved Sailor Moon so much when I was younger that I took on the nickname Yusagi or Yusagi Pyong. That's what everybody knew me as. If you search up Yusagi Pyong, you'll probably find pictures of me. <laughs> And even before that, when I was like in junior high school, people used to call me Bunny, which if you don't know, Yusagi translates to rabbit. Yeah, I was really, really obsessed when I was younger, and I still am. Everything Sailor Moon related kind of just makes me emotional. If I see something new coming out Sailor Moon related, it makes me want to cry. And I'm just, yeah, I, I don't know how else to say. I'm a really, really big fan. So, my beautiful friend, Mia B, who is my fufu, don't even think about it. She bought me some makeup that is by ColourPop because if you guys don't know, which you probably do by now because I'm sure a bunch of other, a bunch of, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure a bunch of beauty gurus have already did reviews on it regardless of if they're fans or not. So I'm coming to you today to do a review of my beloved Sailor Moon collab with ColourPop. I don't, I, I don't even know how to articulate myself right now. That's how excited I am. My armpits were sweating like crazy earlier. I'm gonna stay here because they're probably they're probably still sweating. But anyway, this will be a review from a hardcore Sailor Moon fan. Definitely, definitely not a beauty guru. If you're interested in hearing the opinions of a simpleton like myself, continue watching. Makeup review. So, the packaging, whatever. We don't really, we, who cares? This is cute though. I wish it was Sailor Moon themed, but maybe because I'm not on the PR list, you know, I didn't get like anything fancy. I haven't watched anyone's videos on this yet, so I don't know what's out there. We're just gonna go off of what I have. So, oh my god. It's so pretty. I'm gonna cry. I don't have many Sailor Moon things, so if I get something Sailor Moon related, I'm really hyped. This is, this is like all I have, and I have a little plushie of Sailor Moon. In Japan, they came out with Sailor Moon makeup. This is all I was able to get. So, this is gonna make me really emotional, so I'm gonna try not to cry because I already did my base makeup and I don't want it to like all, like, you know, wash off my face. But okay, I'm gonna need my inhaler, hold up. Inhalers close by, so we're good. So, the first thing, oh my god, it's so cute. 
gloss. This is the lip gloss. And look at the hollow on it. Sailor Moon is just so cute. I'm not gonna throw this. You, I can't throw this out. See, this box we're keeping. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but we're keeping it because I just, I, how disrespectful would it be for me to throw out something with Sailor Moon's face on it? Like, <sighs> and it has that Sailor Moon logo right there. Oh man, my curls already died. I'm sorry, I tried to be cute for this video. So this is the palette. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I probably look like an idiot right now. I'm so sorry. The names of the, the, the sh eyeshadows are all Sailor Moon related. So we have Shining Moon, okay. Twilight Flash, which is one of Sailor Moon's actual attacks. Silver Crystal, which you, if you don't know, is her silver crystal. It's pretty much her life force. Moon Castle, okay. Full Moon, yeah, okay. Silver Millennium. Are you kidding? Mare Serenitatis? What the hell is that? And it has an asterisk on it and says, not intended for use on the immediate eye area. Luna, which of course you have to have Luna. That's probably a black color. It is not a black color. Justice, Tuxedo Rose, Love, and Miracle Romance, which you know what Miracle Romance is. Miracle <laughs> No. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get it together and let's see what else is in this box. Won't you be mine? Not Sailor Moon related at all. And this is the receipt. So that's all that came in the box. Look at the front of the palette. It's so cute. <laughs> let's be 100% honest. I'm gonna do this makeup tutorial and I'm never gonna touch this again because this is a collector's item. Right. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. Oh my god! It's so cute! Ah! I don't know if you guys are gonna- Look at that! <laughs> that is so cute. I mean, I, I think they could have did something a little bit better. <laughs> no shade. I love it regardless. This is like a common picture you can find if you type in Sailor Moon on Google. I would have liked it if they would have did something a little bit more custom. Anyway! <laughs> So this is what the palette looks like. It's so pretty. It's exactly what I expect from a Sailor Moon palette. Very pink, very pastel. It's just magical girl vibes, you know? So let's go through the colors and see what's up. Should I swatch? Am I a beauty guru now? We're gonna swatch and see what's up. I don't really know how to swatch, but we're gonna swatch anyway so the first one is shining moon it looks like a base color it's kind of tan it has some shimmer to it so i'm gonna swatch this on my arm and let's see what it looks like so that's that one there then we have twilight flash this one is a peachy kind of color very matte no shimmer so that's what that one looks like i don't think i know how to swatch because these look nasty we're trying, okay? The next one is Silver Crystal. I can see that being Silver Crystal. It's pretty cute. It's not silver, but it's cute. That's that one there. The next one is Moon Castle. That one is like a pink color. Can you guys see? I'm trying my best. The next one is Full Moon. It looks like a golden kind of color. Now we're going into Silver Millennium. Silver Millennium is the time period before the Sailor Moon series began. It's very shimmery, very glittery. Now the next one we're going into is this one here. And that one is Mare Serenitatis. I don't know if I'm not a hardcore stan, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> That one is not intended for like direct use on the lid. I don't understand what you're supposed to do with it if you're not supposed to put it in your eye. The glitter chunks are super big. That could be why. But let's swatch this one. Oh yeah, this one is a lot more chunky than the other ones. Can you see it? Can you tell? Next, we're going into Luna, which surprisingly is not black. It's purple. If anything, I feel like that should be called Diana. Oh, this is a really pretty color though. Not gonna lie. Ooh, that one came out like really, really good. Wow, 
so pretty. Oh, I love that one. I think that's probably my favorite so far. The next one is Justice, a very bright yellow color. This actually should have been called like Odango because it's very much like Sailor Moon's hair color. If you guys agree, comment down below. Let me know. That is Justice. The next color is Tuxedo Rose which it is not a red color. I probably sound like such an asshole right now. This is coming from a hardcore fan. Not no beauty guru. So let's swatch Tuxedo Rose. Oh yes, hell yeah. They definitely could have called that one Chibisa. So the next color is Love. A lot more pinky than Tuxedo Rose. And the last color is Miracle Romance. All right, the palette is very beautiful. Now, let's move on to the lip gloss. It says Ultra Glossy Lip. I don't know if that's the name of the color. I don't wanna rip it. God damn it. I ripped it. Okay, so, oh my God, this is what the packaging looks like. So that's what the cap looks like. A bunch of crescent moons, which is super cute. And then you have the Sailor Moon X. Colourpop logo here. It is a peachy, sparkly color. It says Sailor Moon 20B4. It's a brush applicator, and since I'm here, let's just swatch it on my hand. So that's what it looks like. A peachy, shimmery color. I am going to attempt a makeup look now. So I'm gonna clean my arm, and we will start doing the makeups. I think this is the best the lighting is gonna get. I apologize. So I don't usually do eyeshadow looks just because one, I have hooded eyelids. I look at you like this, my eyelids disappear. So every time I do eyeshadow, it kind of just like is never there. It's very non-existent. I have a feeling that's what's gonna happen today. But we're gonna try our best. We're gonna work with it and we're gonna try to come up with a cute little makeup look. So, let's get started. Alright, so I think I'm gonna start off with Twilight Flash. So I'm just gonna put that all over my lid, I guess. <laughs> this is like the everyday girl makeup tutorial. You wanted to treat yourself to a palette even though you really suck at makeup. Yeah, that's the look we're going for today. Shout out to my Fufu, Mia B. I'm gonna tag all her social media down below so you guys can thank her for blessing me with such a beautiful gift. You know, back in the day, not a lot of people watched anime. I was one of those nerds. Nowadays, anime seems a lot more mainstream. I don't know if it's because it's a lot more acceptable to talk about or if everybody's kind of jumping on the bandwagon. Regardless of what it is, back in the day, it was definitely something that many people did not talk about if they were into it. And if you found people that were into anime, you kind of just like had a little click, a little nerd click. Me and my cousin, one of my favorite cousins, oh. we used to be really, really into to Sailor Moon. She loved Sailor Mercury, I loved Sailor Moon, and we would just binge watch the tapes and DVD, well, tapes at the time. I had a VHS. Do you guys know what a VHS is? If you do, smash that like button. It used to come on for the morning cartoons, and it was the highlight of my Saturday morning. And then, as I got older, I started exploring Chinatown, and I found a shop that sold the Sailor Moon movies, and I was really shocked to know that there were more episodes than I thought there originally were and that the story is a lot different in Japanese than it is in English oh look it's focusing on Sailor Moon rather than my face <laughs> Yeah, so I ended up going to a little Chinese shop, finding out that there was a lot more to Sailor Moon than I originally thought. And then my obsession blossomed. Watching Sailor Moon at a young age kind of made me feel like there was something more to life. I know that sounds very deep for such a simple anime, but <laughs> it hits home for people like me. You know, people that want to save the world. I'm probably blabbing and blabbing and not making any sort of sense. So next, we're gonna go into Luna, and I think I kind of wanna line my eye with it. That's the plan, let's see if it goes that way. So I have this little brush, I think this is for your lips, but we're gonna just, we're gonna try it out. So yeah, everything about Sailor Moon seemed ideal to me. Her personality, her friendships, tuxedo mask. Who doesn't want a man like tuxedo mask? I mean, come on. 
really doesn't help much when it comes to fights, but Their love traveled through reincarnation. Who doesn't want a love like that? I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this, honestly. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna try to do this eyeliner. Let's, let's see how this goes. Can you see that? Woo wee! This is why I don't do makeup tutorials, okay? Obviously, Sailor Moon is number one. Sailor Mars is number two. And I would have to say Sailor Saturn is number three because even though she seems very quiet and innocent, she is a badass bitch. She has the power to destroy everything. Who wouldn't want that power? I've been pressing my finger up against my cheek and the contour is completely gone there, so we're we're doing great we're doing great right now okay honestly i think that's the best it's gonna get it looks really cute in real life you know but we don't have that lighting here we're gonna put tuxedo rose on the lower lid hi hi Alright, so that's what the bottom is looking like. Now I'm going to put silver crystal on the inner corner of my eyes because it is just so, so pretty. Alright, this is what it's looking like. I know it looks like a mess. This is just like a child that wants to put every single color on her eyelid. A few moments later. Can I add any more colors to this? I'm gonna try to take a fluffy brush and put love on the crease of my eye. I might ruin the whole look right now. Oh, let's go for it. All in. Oh, that's really cute, actually. So that's what it looks like with love in my creases. If it looks terribly blended, that's because it is. Just remember, I'm not a beauty guru, you know? Remember that I barely wear eyeshadow and you know just get past it so after i opened up the palette and i saw the justice color i thought should we do a crescent moon on our forehead we should so let's do that <laughs> let's see how bad this ends up you got that from your girlfriend my fufu <laughs> it's crooked it looks like it's crooked We're gonna try again. Try again. That was pretty good though. I have a bunch of yellow makeup on my forehead. Round two. All right, it took about 30 minutes. This is the moon shape that I have. I'm gonna try to use contour color to make it look like it's more 3D. That looks pretty good. Does it? Yeah. So you do you make it? You you cook that again? Battery's dying. I'll come back in a second. All right, so this is my boot like moon on my head. I'm gonna use the Sailor Moon eyeliner that came out a couple years ago. I don't even know if there's anything left, but we're gonna try. That is one side. I'm gonna do the other side off camera just to save battery, and I'll be right back. Did the eyeliner, and I did like two little lashes at the bottom. I'm gonna do my mascara and I will be right back again. All right, so I did my mascara. I'm gonna do some highlight now, blush, and then we're gonna put on this lip color. And then I should be finished. So for the highlight color, I'm thinking of going with Silver Millennium. So that's this color here. It's really creamy, so every time I try to put a brush in it, it's like not. What if I just put my finger in it? That's better. I want to try Luna for the highlight over here. So let's see how that goes. I have it on my fan brush. Let's see.
Uh huh. Look at that. So next, I'm going to do a lip color, which I am going to keep it very, very simple. Hmm. Actually, I think I just might do the gloss and call it a day. I'm gonna clean off my lip a little bit. And then, ugh, that tasted disgusting. I'm gonna just put the lip gloss on. Oh, it tastes delicious. Well, the smell tastes delicious. Does that make sense? It's very sheer, but that's fine. We'll just go ham. bad as it was looking like initially what do you guys think comment down below let me know how you think my sailor moon inspired look came out i barely do eyeshadow if i do it's probably one color on my eyelid and i just call it a day so this is um <laughs> let's zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better and that's about it i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i did all this for you i got super cute for you. Yeah, that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!